What you see right here is Android 2.2 Froyo on my Nexus One phone. First thing you'll know or notice about this is down here you have a new phone button and a new browser button in addition to your menu button down here. I like this because no matter what screen you're on you can make a phone call or browse the internet. Okay. Before you had to have little icons for it and I had them up here. I replaced them with my Google Voice and Google Talk. So uh, one of the first things you'll notice when you do uh, get phone calls or multiple phone calls from the same person is that the call menu changed a bit. There's, uh, it'll cluster uh, your, your phone calls. So if you got a phone call or called out to the same person consecutively, it'll group them together. I won't show you that here because, you know, it's private information. I don't want to have, it'll show phone numbers and things like that. Uh, the browser button's really nice. Uh, you can just, you know, press that and bring up your, your browser. Now one thing I noticed on this is that if you hold down the search button here, you actually get a voice search. So you can search the phone, you can do navigation on it, you can say call Joe mobile, and it'll call if you have a Joe, if you know a Joe and you have his mobile, mobile number on there, it'll search it. But I'm just going to search Android 2.2 on this and see how it goes. So you just hold the button down, Android 2.2. It brought up a voice search, and there we go. Android 2.2. Pretty nice. All right, now two cool features of Android 2.2 are that you can actually tether with the phone, and it has flash support. I'm going to show you flash on this in two ways. I'm going to bring up my YouTube page and play a video in the browser, not in the YouTube app, but in the browser. That'll show you how flash works on the phone. And also, I'm going to take you to a flash gaming site. Now, when you do get Froyo, Android 2.2, what you're going to have to do is go to the Android Marketplace, or actually it's called the Android Market, which I have here, and uh, you're going to have to download Flash 10.1 Beta 3 is the one I'm working on, but maybe when you get Froyo, you'll be on a different beta. But uh, just look up Flash in the Android Market and download it. It didn't take long to download, and then you're ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the new browser button down here and we're going to look up YouTube. So go up to the search bar up here and type in YouTube. Now one thing I did notice on this is that the dot com button, I can't find it anymore. There used to be a dot com button when you were typing in addresses. I can't find it anymore. So maybe they're just wanting you to use their search more so than actually typing in addresses. I don't know, but uh, this is only my first day using Android 2.2, so maybe I'll find it and I'll update you guys at a later date. As you can see right, right here, it brought up my, uh, or actually brought up YouTube, and we're going to look up my, uh, my channel. So Tech Harvest, there you go, and we're going to hit search. Now this should bring up all my videos that I have up on YouTube, and right there as you can see it did. So we're going to use a video where I have a lot of motion on. Um, we'll probably use this video test of the camcorder, the, the video I did, because it shows the ocean and, and waves and movement. It'll give you an, an idea of uh, what flash looks like on a mobile phone. Now you can, you'll notice here that you can watch this video in YouTube or in the browser. In YouTube, it's not using Flash. It's, a, it's an app made specifically for the phone. The browser, however, if you watch it in the browser, that's going to use Flash that, we, that I just recently installed. So we're going to hit Browser. And it should bring up this, the, the page here, just as you would on a computer. And we're going to turn it on its side so we get a better view of it here. And here we go. It's buffering up here. This is a test of the JVC Avario camcorder. The video quality, it's on its highest setting, which is the setting I'm going to be using. Now if you want to watch any of my other videos, videos I've got over 20 of them. And, Just check uh, out my, my channel. Shot and hopefully I'll be panning over here in a second. One of the beaches, so you can see some of the waves. And the, here we go. 
This is all playing in flash on the mobile phone. It's a short video. Runs about a minute or so, so. It's impressive. I'm impressed with the flash performance on the phone. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to <clears throat> a Flash uh, Flash game website. And I know Congregate is one. I'm not a huge gamer for, you know, on, on, on mobile devices or anything. But uh, I will show you what it's like uh, on here. So we're going to go to Congregate. And I had actually chosen it before, so that's why I have it here. And these are all the Flash games that you can play. Um, I don't know what we're going to play here. Let's see. Memory Shell Game. That's pretty basic. Let me show you what that's all about. Okay. Now it's loading it up. We're going to turn it on its side. And again, this is all running in Flash on the phone. Loading up. Pretty cool so far. All right. Clicking it once brings it full screen, and the back key would br back you out of it. We're gonna hit play on here, and I assume it's just like a regular memory game. Let's see. Yeah, these are the things you got to match on the side here. So, start from the top. No match. Yeah. Memory's not so good. Yeah. Nope. Uh oh, they're moving them on me. I know I saw the blue one here somewhere. There we go, I only got nine more chances. Gotta make them good. There we go. Pretty responsive, pretty cool. Moves really well. And we're going to back out of that. So that's Flash on your mobile phone. And the next thing we're going to look into is tethering. Now to tether on this phone, we're going to actually have to bring my laptop over. So give me a second to do that.